Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today as we continue to preview the 2021 college football schedule is the Sterling head football coach, Chase Hansen. Coached your team last year, got a schedule in. Uh, as always, I, I feel like I need to lead off just by saying I'm glad that happened for the teams that got to play. You got to play in the fall and the spring, a 1-8 and eight overall record. Uh, winning your last game, a victory over Tabor, and coach. Ordinarily, I, you know, I, and I've heard different things from uh, from coaches before, and I, I've come to realize not everything carries over. Sometimes it would, but in this case, it might. You win on the last game of the season, but my goodness, that was only two and a half months ago. I mean, <laughs> it really wasn't that long ago. Heading into this year, does a win on the final game of the season, if it happened in April, carry over as something positive into this season? Oh, absolutely. You know, we. Uh we enjoyed that day. It, it was a lot of hard work. And, you know, like you said, a split season that was just, uh, it was a roller coaster, man. Um, in the fall, we played four games and, and never played back to back weeks, um, due to COVID and, and then, uh, got five games in straight through this spring, which was awesome. But, you know, just got a great opportunity for young guys to really get better this spring. We saw a consistent, increase in play you know we played some some of the top teams in the conference in the spring and and uh you know we were competing with them for longer and harder and closer games and so it was just awesome to see you know just the fruit of the labor that uh all these guys have put in and you know it, it didn't mean a lot coach you talk about the tough teams in the conference and i want to address that a little bit later on because they seem to be getting tougher all the time uh, looking at at what you have in a roster coming back to this season, among the names that stands out and one that really does definitely is Chance Whitehead. I, I'm not sure there are offensive stats that don't have his name somewhere in there. Uh, he really played a major role on your team. What does this look like coming into 2021? Well, yeah, Chance is kind of our, our utility type guy. He was a high school quarterback. We, we love recruiting athletic high school quarterbacks because – you know, if they if they don't come in and play quarterback for us, which is a, you know, we, we want a guy that can run around a little bit on our offense. But he's he's also our number one wide receiver. You know, so um, when when Ethan went down uh, with his elbow, he chance stepped in and and you know the offense changed quite a bit. But uh, you know we were still uh, very successful and hard hard to uh, you know recognize what what we're doing some of the times with the chance back there and. He's hard to tackle, which you know, you know that's uh, that helps me as a play caller uh, for sure. So um, he 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 can do it all. He can run, pass, catch. You know, we just get the ball in his hands and, and let him do his thing. It is pretty interesting. That people talk about uh, wildcat players. I don't know uh, if you throw an extra roll of receiving into that wildcat role. Yeah. Uh, you may have to come up with a different name. Yeah, uh, at some quarterback point, at Sterling no. College. That's what you are. Yeah. Oh, God. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're speaking now with Chance uh, Chase Hansen, yeah. who is the Sterling head coach in your fourth season now as head coach there, tenth season with the program, and a pretty uh, solid career in your own uh, across the way in the KCAC. Uh, coach, talk about that really quickly as we, we look ahead. This is a conference that just continues to seem like get better all the time. And when you're playing mm -hmm. the tougher teams in the conference, you're playing some of the tougher teams in the country. Yeah, I mean, uh, joined the conference as a player in 2004, so been active in the conference for a long time. And uh, I think, you know, since then, I've, I've just seen this conference really explode over these last four or five years and, and uh, see the su success in the playoffs and, and uh, you know, consistently have three, four teams ranked in the top twenty-five in the nation, which is just awesome. Um, but but it means you better bring it every week, you know. So you got some great competition, and and uh, luckily we've we've been on uh, both sides of that thing now. So uh, we're we're looking to get back. Coach, obviously one of the the places that uh, you're going to have to address things coming into this season. Uh, you know, we talked about the record, but. It's, it was a defense that just gave up a lot of points last year, and, and obviously that was rectified in that by the time you got to the end of the season, picking up the win over Tabor. But uh, what are you looking at on the defensive side of the ball? Who's going to step up for you? Yeah, we, uh, along with COVID and guys not coming back, uh, opting out, uh, we, we suffered a huge injury right before the, the season started in the fall. Kwame Sexton, he's a multiple-time All-American safety. He's the leader of our defense. He'll be a senior next year. He will be back. This season, we're very lucky to have him. He's uh, he's he's one of the best in the country, no doubt about it. So excited to have him back. But you know, with him gone, uh, you know, we had some other guys, Braden Lock from Bueller, and and then uh, you know, a couple D linemen that, that had to step up. But 
uh, one guy that really stepped up as a freshman, Devin Lopez. He's a he's a safety from Texas, and uh, he he was top three in the nation tackles per game. I think you know he had a game where he only had nine tackles or something that kind of dropped him out. But he he is a he's a fierce dude, and uh, we're really excited to get Kwame and Devin back there um, together. Braden will be a senior. And we, you know, we got some guys coming in that that we think will fit in uh, really well. But you know. Yeah, we gave up some points, but we were playing some young dudes that, that there's nothing like game experience. And when they're going, especially in the spring, when we got freshman corners, uh, freshman safeties that were going against All-American wide receivers and, and holding their own, and, and they give up their stuff. But uh, what I loved, absolutely loved about uh, Savion and, and, and these other guys, uh, man, they, they never stopped competing. You know, and, and I think that's, that's what it takes to be, you know, a great defensive player. You're, you're going to get got every once in a while, but a, a short memory is so important um, for anybody, but uh, especially as a defensive back. And coach, I agree with you wholeheartedly. There's, there's nothing that can, can replace that experience. You just have to get out there on the field and do it. So they, uh, a lot of players obviously that had that opportunity during the, the COVID year of 2020 and 2021, Coach, your season gets underway August 28th. You go out of conference playing uh, against Midland, and then the Tufts KCAC schedule starts. It's a home game against St. Mary. Can you talk about your schedule? And it's it's not that far away now. Yeah, I think right around the corner. So, um, yeah, excited to go play Midland at, in, up in Nebraska. That'll be a fun trip. I've never uh, been there. So, uh, you know, real excited to start with just, you know, a consistent good performer in the GPAC and, um, just kind of see where we're at and, and get our feet wet a little bit, but uh, because you got to be ready in the KCAC, so um, we got to be ready to get going right away. And and uh, you know, you said St. Mary's first conference game. I, I don't even know, so um, <laughs> we'll, we'll worry about them when we when we get to game week. I mean, that's you got to take it one game at a time. That's how we roll. All right, and coach, really quickly before I let you go, I mean, you, you've got uh, players, you've got camps, you have a lot going on right now at, at Sterling College. Uh, your summer's very busy, correct? Yeah, no, I was just at the the top one hundred and fifty camp up in Salina last year, yesterday, and uh, you know our, my coaches are all out and around and and, and trying to get the next next uh, group of Sterling College Warriors. But it's been a been a busy summer, but it's been really good. So uh, just excited to keep you know seeing these guys and and seeing what they can do and showing them what we're we're at or what we're made of here at Sterling College. We, we want guys that, that love to compete regardless of, of any conditions or circumstance and, and just love love football. So um, trying to find those next guys. All right. Well, uh, success in doing that. Coach Chase Hansen from Sterling College, whose Warriors are getting ready for the 2021 season. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. And again, success to you all this season. Yeah, thanks, Joe.